be okay for online students? Please give yes in the chat. Yes or no? Is audio video okay? Okay, good. Okay. So, <clears throat> so my name is Govind. So I'm taking political science and international relation. And I am for GS, I'm taking bilateral relation. I think some of you people might have attended my classes. Okay, so anyway, so um, it's a very good thing that you have chosen political science and international relation. Okay, so actually it's a very good subject, particularly um, um, the, the probability, the hitting probability is more in this subject than any other subject actually. Okay, first what all the things we are going to discuss in this class is, you see, whether this PSAR subject is a right subject. So that you have to understand. If anybody is in dilemma means, just I will tell you what all the highlights in that, subject highlights. And then I will introduce the subject. What all the things we will be reading in that particular subject. And in the class, what all the things we will be doing it in the course. Okay, the test, how the class will be going on, how long the class will go. So all these things we will discuss. And then how to, pre generally how to prepare for 2025 examination. Okay, PSAR plus GS. Okay, the combined. So that part we will discuss. Finally, I will take questions. Okay. So the first thing uh, in today's discussion is, is PSAR a right subject for our exam? PSAR, UPSC, civil service exam. So definitely it is a very good subject. Okay. The subject is very interesting. And then, um, and then in the subject, dynamic parts are there. In the subject, static part are also there. Uh, in general, to clear the entire UPSC examination, you need certain skills, no? One, two, three, four, like that. All the skills, you have to sharpen it for PSAR. Very simple. Okay? If you can handle PSAR, means you can, you can clear UPSC examination, like that. What are all the qualities required for GS? Same thing required for PSAR. If you can master that up PSAR, means definitely we, we have a, a definite edge is there. We have a bonus. Big bonus is there compared to any other any other subject okay so the thing is but the thing is we have to reap the benefits so in video game bonus will be there means we have to take it if you leave it means it will be gone like that we have to take the benefit of the PSAR okay so lot of uh, uh, highlights are there in the highlights I will tell you where uh, this PSAR will be advantage to PSAR student compared to any other subject student with respect to our GS subject the entire preparation so that I will tell you Okay, so the thing is, uh, some people, you have to note that, uh, may be good in concepts. Concepts means ideas. Okay, so uh, somebody might have said something, or a particular idea might have been proposed. If you understand that particular idea, means regarding that idea, question may be asked whether this idea is good, whether this idea is bad, whether this idea can be applied to present day context, etc. So like that, questions will be coming. So this, this type of questions are also there. Half of the syllabus will be like this. Another half of the syllabus you have to note that are the application part. That means, um, that means uh, what we read from newspapers, etc. Uh, uh, inferring information from newspaper and what is going on in and around us. Based on that, if you have a writing skill means, then that part is also there in our syllabus. So that's why I said both it is dynamic as well as static. Static departments, concepts, philosophers, ideas, okay, ideologies. So these things we will be discussing. And at the same time, you have to note that India and the world is there, the polity is there, uh, the comments are there, evaluation are there. So these things you have to note that if you have good writing skills, means you can get to. The subject is, uh, is very friendly only. So no big problem will be there. The, we have two papers, okay, like I think you know this, okay, you have already might have seen the syllabus. Two papers are there. Paper number one is political science or political theory. In that we have two parts are there. I will show the syllabus. Paper one, section A is political theory. All the ideas we will be discussing. The Indian political thought, Western political thought, the different ideologies. What do you mean by justice? What do you mean by democracy? What do you mean by rights? So these things we will be discussing. And paper one, section B, the application of paper one, section A. That is the political theory, what we have read, no? 
that we will be applying in Indian context. That is the Indian government and politics. That is paper 1, section B, Indian government and politics. So in that, uh, we will be reading about, um, um, that means uh, generally about uh, the, the salient features of Indian constitution, how state government is working, how central government is working, how judiciary is working, how the central state relation is there, how the panchayat raj system is there, uh, okay, and what all the different commissions are there. So this is one part of section B. Another part is the Indian politics, uh, the planning system in India, and then uh, the political parties in India, and the caste, religion, ethnicity, so that part, and then the different social movements for what it is being fought and uh, how, what is the result of that. So those part we will be discussing. This will be paper one, section B. In paper two, section A, we have the international relation theory part, section A. First uh, five, four, five chapters will be comparative politics and remaining chapters is international politics. Okay, and then in paper two, section B, we have the India and the world, the bilateral relation. Uh, including all the international organizations, okay, the entire uh, foreign affairs, India's foreign policy, will be having it, paper two, section B. So these are all uh, the four divisions. Paper one, section A is um, political theory. And paper one, section B is Indian government and politics, the application of section A. Like the similar case in paper two, the international relation theories, comparative politics and theories, and the international politics, the global politics. And the application of that is section B, the India and the world. How uh, India is having relationship with the world countries. So this is our syllabus. So approximately each uh, section, one paper have two section A, B, A, B. So each section have approximately 10 chapters. So altogether 40 chapters are there. In paper 1, section A, we have 10 chapters. Paper 1, section B, we have, I think, 11 chapters. Paper 1, paper 2, section A, we have 11. And paper 2, section B, we have 8. So approximately, I think you have you have around some 40 chapters. So in that 40 chapters, the biggest highlight in the subject is, you see, um, at least 25 chapters will be overlapping with the GS, the content-wise. Content-wise, 25 chapters out of the 40 chapters, 25 chapters will be overlapping with our GS subject. Okay, only 15 chapters you have to read in political science point of view. So from political science point of view, you read means for our option subject base. Then also you see this, these subjects will be helpful for your essay writing, number one. And number two, these papers will be helpful for your ethics. So this also you have to take it into account. If you, if you altogether you take means at least uh, nearly two third of the subject, I'm telling uh, more than two third, at least 75 to 80 percentage of the syllabus will be helpful for your GS paper. Okay, so appro uh, the approach is different, but the idea is same. The, the preparation, the knowledge-wise, the content-wise, what you have to know is same thing only. So all you have to do is we have to do we have to think it in a different way. That's all. That we can easily do it. Okay, so if you attend the class months, I think you can cope up. Okay, um, so we have an advantage for GS paper one and paper two. In paper three also international uh, economy is there, so it will come. In ethics paper paper four also. We have a lot of things in common. I will show you where, where these uh, subjects will help you. Okay. Um, so literally you have to note that the section B of both the papers, you have to note that is GS paper only. Paper 1, section A, the first 10 chapters is the core of the entire political science. This will take a lot of time. A lot of time means literally half of your entire preparation for uh, PSAR will be, will be spending on the first 10 chapters. Paper 1, section A. Okay, and the remaining parts are very easy. So suppose if I am dividing uh, the entire paper, uh, for example, I am. Uh, so if I am a student, means now I am student, means I have 90 days to prepare. So how I will, uh, how much time it will take for me, means literally 40 days I will be spending on first 10 chapters, paper one section A. 40 days. Okay, so uh, remaining, uh, you have to note that I will, I will spend 10, 10 days for. Maybe I, may, I will be spending some 20 days for paper to section A, 60 days. Remaining 10, 10 for both the section B. And altogether 10 days I will revise. So this is, will be my plan. So that means the weightage is split like this, okay. So 50 percentage of the weightage is paper 1 section A. Another uh, uh, 20, uh, 20, 25 percentage of the weightage is paper 2 section A. 
remaining 25 percentage is only the both the B section. See, uh, so the paper one section B is actually the already I said it is the application of the ideas what we read in the first 10 chapters in paper paper uh, 1A. Similarly in paper 2 also. So all you have to do is you should have a very strong newspaper reading habit. Without newspaper reading habit you can't clear examination. Whatever subject you are taking for GS newspaper reading habit is important. The same thing only is required for PSA also. You should properly read newspapers. You have to regularly follow a lot of things particularly the polity part and the bilateral part, the India and the world part, you have to properly, you have to follow from newspaper. Then only it will be easy. If you, you if you want an edgement, see this paper, if you, if, you are, if you want to take PSA or men's, you have to take minimum 25 marks compared to all other subjects. The other students will be taking other different optional subjects, no? So if they are taking 250 to 260 men's, here you have to take 275 to 280, 285 like that. Definitely 20, 25 marks you have edge. But we have to reap the benefit. And you will know the importance of PSIR or the benefits of PSIR while preparing for mains examination. Because uh, the other subjects people and all will be spending lot of time in GS. So here both are, already I said no, literally two third of our syllabus. So I listed is 70% uh, literally, uh, 65 to 75 percentage of our syllabus is GS syllabus. We can save a lot of time and we can do it better. Can you understand? We can, we can, uh, that means uh, while writing the answers, the thing is we have to just concentrate on the answer writing part. Okay. So now what I will do is I will introduce this subject. I will tell you what are all the contents of this subject so that you will have an idea. Okay. So this is paper one, section A. <clears throat> in paper one, section A, the, actually I will not go in a linear format. First I will be taking the uh, Western political thinker, okay, for the second batch. You see, and then in the second batch you are starting very late actually, okay. You, you should have started early by June or July. Then only comfortably we, we might have done it, okay. So uh, what happens is that's why I have made the classes on weekdays as well as weekends. We have no other choice. So because if you wanted to prepare for preliminary examination, man, at least four months you have to dedicate your entire time only for preliminary. You have your examination by May end. Okay, so at least February, March, April, May. So by February 1st, you should completely, you have to dedicate your entire time, focus the entire time in preparing for preliminary examination. But luckily you people will not, un unfortunate that you people will not have that time. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to do something, okay. So because by the time in February first week when uh, notification comes, means people will be in that, will start that, that, uh, that uh, what is it, the preliminary fever will come. That means uh, the, everybody will concentrate only on preliminary, after that people will not concentrate on option subjects or any other main subject with respect to GS. This is the trend, okay. And uh, uh, so what we have to do is, uh, so my plan is, as far as possible, we have to complete the entire, sil entire syllabus, means particularly the political science core area, okay, before January. This is my idea. At least for, for, uh, actually your class will go up to March. Uh, First week, I think this is. I don't know exactly. If I uh, if we start from tomorrow, tomorrow we have the day after tomorrow we have class. We have the first class. Okay. So if we start by October 14th, months, uh, 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 November, December, January, February, uh, March, March only your paper will be over. The entire syllabus will be over. Okay. So as far as possible, we have to finish the syllabus quickly then only it will be benefit because if it overlaps with the preliminary time means either you won't concentrate on PSAR or you may miss the uh, the 2025 preliminary examination. Like that one problem is there. Okay, so anyway, so what we will do is we are going, we will be going very slowly only. Slowly but steadily. We will complete all the core areas uh, by December or January. So before Pongal, we will try to complete it. Okay, so remaining part you will be having your GS side only. So since we will be discussing the GS parts, 
you have to note that you won't find any difficulty uh, for, for preparing for PSAR along with your GS paper, the preliminary paper. Okay, so we will, uh, that the overlapping things that we will keep it in the last. So then only it will be easy. Okay, is it okay? So this is the only thing we can do. Okay, so otherwise you have to note that people will be in a hurry. People uh, will, uh, some people will miss the classes after January. So this is what I see in the last two, three years. So to avoid that, what we will do is as far as possible before January, that is before Pongal holidays, you have to note that we will try to complete all the theory parts. Okay, it will take time. Okay, after that, the GS part. The GS overlapping, that and all, even without me, you can study. So, my main uh, purpose is according to, see, I will have something in my mind, no, so what I have to deliver it to the student. Out of the 40 chapters, 15 chapters, I have to take full responsibility. It is my responsibility. Remaining chapters, you have to note that we will cover. But what, what even without me, you can handle it. So, if I am thinking from a, a, a 2025 mains point of view, some student is going to write mains examination means. So, he knows the subject, what he will expect means, he will expect from me the, first, the 15 chapters very thoroughly, the core part. But it, it is literally two-thirds of the weightage. The 15, out of 40 chapters, the 15 chapters contains two-thirds of our total PSAR weightage in terms of content. Mark-wise, everything, all sections carry equal, equal marks only. So you can understand. So, so, so I have to concentrate on this. So other things we will discuss. Materials are available. I have prepared fresh materials for everything. Question answers also I am having. Question banks. So, uh, uh, so I think you can manage with that. Okay. So definitely, definitely what I am telling is for the student who is going to write uh, 2025 mains examination. You, if you come in my line mess, you have to come in with me. Okay. So how, how I am pushing, you have to come along with me. If you can come along with me, means I will guarantee you that you can get good marks in this. I will take full responsibility because we are going to have a lot of tests. In fact, daily we will be writing tests. Daily in the class we will be writing tests. Okay, so I will tell you. So first, uh, let us see. Uh, chapter number one, we will be uh, discussing what do you mean by political theory? What do you mean by political theory? What do you mean by political science? What do you mean by political philosophy? How to study political science? And by studying political science, what we are going to achieve? What, are, what is the objective of political science? So that part we will be discussing. It is a completely a theory part. And second, the theories of state, chapter number two, the theories of state. So theories of state means, see different ideologies are there. How different ideologies they want the state to be? State means you have to notice that India is a state. A state means four components are there. If you have four components for an entity, means we can call that entity as a state. One is a territory. Second one is population. Third one is government. Fourth one is sovereignty. If this all these four things are there for any territory, we can call that as a state. Okay, so how different ideological people? Ideology means a set of rules and regulations. Uh, a group of rules and regulations framed by a person or a group of people. How the society should work. That is called ideology. Okay, the society should be in this order only. The economy have to be like this. The polity have to be like this. The societal uh, situation have to be like this. Like that, different, different group of people have different, different ideas. For example, communists have their, their own idea. Socialistic people, they have their own idea. Liberals have their own idea. So like that, how these people view the state should be, what state should do, how the state should be there. Like that, we will be discussing the liberal state, neoliberal state, Marxist, pluralistic, post-colonial, feminist state. So how these different people view about state, how the state should be there, what state should provide them. So this part we will be discussing in paper two. I mean, chapter two. <clears throat> and then in third chapter, we will be discussing justice. So what do you mean by justice? Somebody tell me what do you mean by justice? Equal opportunity justice, okay. Yes. What do you mean by justice? People online? You can raise your hands. Uh, that means we will enable. What do you mean by justice? Yes? Fostering the rights. Good. Ensuring the rights and developing the rights. Equality before law. 
come again equality before law equality before law sir yes good so this is also a definition of justice yes any other definition see actually if you if you discuss definition uh, definition you wanted to find out the definition for justice means no definition is there different definitions are there that depends upon who are you which group you belong what do you want what do you lack based on that only people will ask justice different different justice are there okay so in court you will get legal justice in society you have to note that discrimination is there means people will be asking about social justice economically some people are poor some people are very rich means people will demand economic justice some people are not allowed to participate in the politics means they will demand political justice like the different different justice are there different different view depending upon which group you belong what you have what you don't have what others are having what others are not having based on that you have to note that the view of justice will be different it's a very interesting chapter okay what is correct to the society what the society wants that is called justice but the other thing is different society want different things not all society people want the same thing the american society is having a different idea the indian society have a different idea the african society they have a different idea the people in israel palestine they have a different idea so what a particular group of people want will be completely different based on that if if something is lagging depend it is not having the acceptance of the society means we call it as injustice people will demand justice so like this we will be discussing lot of interesting things okay lot of things can be uh, debated argued okay we can have uh, everything in the class okay okay and then um, uh, conception of justice with special reference to a particular thinker named john rawls john rawls has proposed one idea of justice and he has been criticized by a group of people called communitarians so these things we'll be reading in chapter 3 and chapter 4 equality equality means again equality also what do you mean by equality means no definition is there or even you can argue there is nothing called equality okay so this is also very interesting what is, there is actually no equality is there in the world no two things are equal no 100 percentage means 50 50 percentage like that we can say in max but except to max in any other thing there is nothing called two things are equal even a twins cannot be equal so can understand so so uh, so equality means then what people dem- what, what people call themselves as equality people are demanding equality society is demanding equality means what is that so so this is a very that means a very big idea okay again like justice this is having different different meaning equality means what equality you want that depends upon who you are what you have what you don't have again so justice equality these concepts are closely related with liberty freedom based on freedom only equality will be there based on freedom only justice also will be there people so a student wanted to prepare for upsc examination he is very intelligent but he doesn't have food so so that means you have to note that he doesn't have freedom to prepare for the examination then this is the idea freedom means you have to note that during a young age they have to Uh, uh that means maximize their personality by developing themselves through education okay if i wanted to become something means so now i am i'm little old so you people young people i'm telling young people wanted to become something means you should get an equal opportunity for that okay if you if you are deprived of that opportunity means you lack freedom you don't have financial freedom like the people say no i don't have financial freedom like that some of the women they may not have freedom to do what they want can understand so they wanted to learn a particular uh, a particular trade or particular subject or particular course but you have to note that the parents may not have, uh, uh, allow it or the society may not allow it financial freedom or uh, they may get pressure uh, something like the mar- matrimonial that means they may get, they may get married after marriage the husband may not allow even husband allows lot of responsibilities will be there on the women so like that lot of problems are there so all these things we have to discuss okay it's, it will be very Uh, that means interesting if you get involved in this means very interesting what do you mean by equal see if you know all the subjects means while writing ethics you will get an edge you have to get that edge okay other people simply they they will discuss about what equality justice like that but we are reading different ideas of equality no 
on which equality our India prefers, our India wants, what type of justice India wants, what type of equality India is preferring, India is demanding, the Indians are demanding. So everything from different, different point of view we are going to approach it. So this and all completely is going to help you in the ethics paper. And definitely as well as in the essay paper also. If you have documents, questions may come in this area. Without writing uh, too much technically, you have to uh, write the essay, that's all. You have to write, it is a general essay. So don't use the thinkers, their philosophies and all. Here and there you can, you can use it. So, but based on that idea, you can write, you can generate your own idea. Okay. And then we'll be writing about, uh, discussing about rights, meaning theories, the different kinds of rights, the conception of human rights. What do you mean by human rights? What do you mean by rights? Okay. Different theories are there. The theory part we'll be handling. And then democracy, the cl classical and contemporary, different, different theories are there. And then different models of democracy, that is representative democracy, participatory democracy, and deliberative democracy. And then the concept of power, hegemony, ideology, and legitimacy. So these are all different, different ideas. Different thinkers have said, what do you mean by power? Where power comes from? How power is being used? And where should use, how power is being used? Used by whom? On whom? So these things we will be discussing. And what are all the effects of the hegemony, ideology, legitimacy? Okay, so whether people's approval is there or not. So those things, all these things will be discussed in chapter 7. And then we have the chapter number 8, the most important part in our syllabus, the political ideologies. Question-wise, whether it is coming in the newspaper or not, without reading a, a chapter number 8, you can't prepare for PSL. Okay, what do you mean by liberalism? It is an ideology, a set of ideologies. Socialism. Marxism, feminism, sorry, feminism, fascism, Gandhism. So these are all the isms. Isms means the, the set of ideas, coherent ideas. Okay, how the society should work. Based on that, this these ideas, the, they will propose a different, different set of ideas. So this we have to discuss. And then we have the Indian political thinkers. We have various Indian political thinkers, the ancient Indian political thinkers. That is Dharma Shastra, Artha Shastra, and then the Buddhist tradition. And then modern political thinkers. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan from the Muslim world, Arvindo from the Hindu world, Gandhism, okay, and then Ambedkar from the downtrodden, Yaman Roy from the Marxism. So these people are there. So the ideas of these people are very, very important. They have perceived how India should be, uh, what, what are all the things that will work in India, that will not work in India. All these things will be discussing under IPT. See, whenever you are writing any topics, you have to write the relevance, how this can be used here in the society. Whether this idea will be applicable to present Indian society or not, to find it out, no need to have a own thinking. Just take the thinkings, the read, that means read about all these people, the Indian political thought, you will get us, you will get an idea. So already these people have proposed how the Indian state should be, how India should work, how India's politics should be there, economy should be there. So all these people have already said, how our ethics should be there, and then uh, religion should be there. So everything they have said. So, after reading this, you can construct your own idea. Instead of going for a blank, uh, 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 that means completely, uh, what do you say, um, that means uh, without uh, having any base, widely thinking, wild run, what I'm telling is, after reading these people, if you think, means these people are coherently said, different, different set of people, different, different ideas. So, different people are, that means India is a land of diversity. Everybody are having different, different set of ideas. So read about all these different set of ideas and then find out, come to some of, the, uh, some of the median line, okay? So what is best for India? After reading this, you can find it out. And then like that, we have Western political thought, the Western uh, philosophies, Plato, Aristotle, these two people belong to the ancient world. And then Machiavelli belongs to the, Machiavelli, Hobbes, Locke belong to the medieval world, 1500s. Not medieval world, but we can call it as modern. And then Mill, Marx, they belong to 19th century. Uh, Gramsci, Anna Harant belong to the 20th century. So different people have given. So this Western political thought will take a lot of time. Each topic will take, take one day. Normally, uh, one or one and a half classes, uh, every chapter will take. But here, every thinker will take the same amount of time. Literally, when you, if you complete 8, 9, 10 months, uh, the entire political science is over. Paper 1 is over. Because the 8, 9, 10, is for paper 1, you are allocating 30 days to 40 days to prepare months. This 8, 9, 10 itself will take you 
around 25 to 30 days. 25 days. So in terms of content, I'm telling. Same thing only, you will be, it will be repeated in topic wise. Justice means. What do you mean by uh, rights? Rights means how uh, you have to note that uh, Hobbes is telling about rights, Locke is telling about rights, Mill, uh, Marx, these people are telling about rights, and Anna Harant is uh, talking about rights. Based on that only, you, the other chapter is going to be there. So same thing only we will be repeating, but here, in uh, in that uh, that means thinker point of view, we will be discussing that. Okay, so it won't be a big issue. Okay, so so here and all, I will go very slowly and steadily. You will uh, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely will get a good confidence. So now, for the batch one, I have completed ninth and tenth chapter. Ninth chapter and tenth chapter alone, so far. Okay, so uh, the class started somewhere in uh, July, I think July uh, mid. Saturday, Sunday only we have class. So in the last two, two and a half months, I took only 9th and 10th chapter. Because class is on weekends only. So maximum uh, per month we had 8 classes only. So since we have daily, we have class from Monday to Friday. So we can we can cope up. Okay. Don't think that I won't dump. Okay. So I will never dump things. Okay. So daily I will take one idea only mostly. If possible, we can add some. Uh, the peripheral uh, topics will be there. No? We can add something. Okay. So slowly only we will be dealing. So you will be comfortable. So according to your comfortability and my comfortability, we can have class. No problem. Because uh, you have to note that there is no um, pressure from the institute side. Okay. So as long as, uh, uh, that means uh, the how far we are confident on how far we are satisfied, based on that we can go for a class. Okay. Suppose if it is very tough topics, means I will go very slower. I will take a gap. So that you will come along with me. If it is easy chapter means I will go. So in uh, students' point of view, my um, uh, that means class flow will be there. Okay. So you won't find any difficulty. And then paper one, section B, you see, uh, the chapter number one is the modern history. The modern history you have no in GS, same subject only. Uh, political strategies that is from 1850, 1856 to freedom movements. That part. Okay. Constitutionalism to mass satyagraha non-cooperation, civil disobedience, militant and revolutionary movements, peasant and workers' movements. Okay, the same history part only. And then the second one is the perspective of the different uh, uh, group of people in India. The liberal perspective of Indian freedom movement, socialist, Marxist, radical humans, Dalit perspective. How these people viewed about Indian freedom movement. So that part we'll be discussing. This one all very, very interesting. Okay, so this one all completely overlaps with your GS. So this here and all, you have to note that you have to be very good in that. And then chapter number two, making of Indian constitution. This is uh, the Indian constitution history, the legacies of British rule, the different social and uh, political perspectives, the making of constitution, the early chapters you'll be reading, you know, before preamble, so those things. And then the salient features of Indian constitution, preamble, fundamental rights, duties, DPSP, the parliamentary system, amendment procedures, judicial review, um, basic structures, etc. So these things. And then the fourth chapter is the principal organs of union government and the state government. Envisaged role, actual working of the executive legislature and Supreme Court. That is executive, legislature, judiciary. What is the, what, what is mandated and how they are working. Like that we will be reading. And note that these chapters don't think that uh, by reading uh, Lakshmi Kant itself you can get through. Lakshmi Kant is meant for preliminary examination. So here they will be asking about the theory part. Theory part only we will be handling. Okay, sometimes they will, they will ask us. So the thing is, uh, first you have to be very good with the Lakshmi Kant, the, the basic uh, futures, etc. What are all the provisions, uh, the amendments, uh, uh, the articles, etc. So this you have to be very thorough. Then only we can evaluate whether governor is, uh, what is the what is the duty of the governor and how governor may be creating problem between the state and the central government. Like that questions will be there. The non uh, central government uh, BJP ruling states are having problems with the governors. You know, questions will be asked from that area. What is the mandate? How bills can be passed? So, depending upon the newspaper only, these questions will be there. Don't think that this is exactly the polity class wa what you have in GS. No. This is this is the application part. Okay, so provision are like this. How these provisions are working in the Indian constitution, Indian polity, Indian government within India. So like that we will be reading. So you have to be, so here and all for this, you have to be very good in the Lakshmi Khan stuff. 
okay and then you have the grassroots democracy panchayat raj municipal corporation 73rd 74th and grassroots movements amendments etc okay and then the different commissions we have this one all same thing only same as in your uh, lakshmi gandhi book how national commission for women is working how national commission for uh, human rights is working like uh, what is their role whether it is effective so like that questions will be asked easily we can handle and then the center state relation federalism the constitutional provisions changing nature of center state relation integrationist uh, tendencies and regional aspiration and interstate disputes so how the polity is going on between union government and state government between states between state and union government so that part we will be discussing so state government mostly they uh, particularly uh, the regional political parties they will be asking for more autonomy the nationalistic parties uh, wanted um, centralized government so how things are there which is good which is bad uh, what all the different issues coming in the years so those things we will be discussing and then the next chapter is planning economic development your 11th economic book is there no same thing okay nehru and gandhi and perspective planning commission public sector green revolution land reforms agrarian reforms liberalization and economic reforms so these things we'll be discussing this is simple matter of one day only quickly we can do it and then caste in india how caste is uh, um, uh, that means um, uh, how caste is very powerful whether this caste system is good or bad how this caste system uh, affects the electoral politics so those things we'll be discussing similarly religion ethnicity in indian politics this is called identity politics people identify themselves i am from this group and then based on that they will do politics no whether it is good or bad how far it is good how far it is bad whether it has done something uh, uh, that means uh, useful so those things we'll be discussing very interesting cha chapters okay so with your common sense itself you can uh, approach this and then you have the party system the different political parties national party regional party ideological and social basis of the party patterns of coalition politics and then pressure group electoral behavior changing socio economic profile of the legislature the mps mlas the political parties how they are working so that part this is also very easy and finally the social movement the civil and human rights movements women movements environmentalism movement. what all the movement happened in india so those things they are asking how they have achieved how they impacted the life whether this movements are success or not what all the ongoing movements so those things we'll be discussing so it's a, is, this and all this 11 chapters you have to note that it is matter of one week only actually uh, what i'm telling is if you know you know some idea you have the material means within one week you can ready, get ready for the examination or uh, i am talking about a student who is preparing for mains examination means within a week he can prepare all the 11 chapters like that only content is there because gs all these things overlap with the gs so gs he will spend some time now in classes and all so with that information itself uh, with respect to psr all you need is some maximum 10 days one week to 10 days we can finish it and then coming to paper 2 section a it is comparative political analysis and international politics the first uh, three chapters is uh, comparative politics and paper 1 section a and paper 2 section a the both the chapter 1 is common chapter 2 also is common literally common the idea is same in paper 1 section a first two chapters paper 2 section a the first two chapters more or less common and the idea is same one you once you get that particular not means you can you can you can you can you get that particular thing means easily you can you can handle it a simple idea once you identified it after that remaining things are easy okay comparative politics the major approaches the political economy social political sociology limitations in comparative method so this is a matter of single day in single day class we can take it and in single day you can prepare and get ready for examination like that only four five hours we can spend means you can get ready paper one i mean chapter number one similarly chapter number two it's matter of three hours only the change the characteristic and changing nature of state in capitalistic and socialistic economy and advanced industrial and developing society how state is there in paper one we discuss no liberal states socialistic state marxist state, same idea only here with respect to country we have to deal with so preparing the, preparing for this chapter chapter number 2 i am telling if i don't know about that means i need only 2 hours only 
I can easily prepare the chapter number two. That's all. Easily we can do it because we are good in the concept means. We don't know the concept ideology means everything is going to be uh, tough. Tough means in the sense it will take a lot of time. So the chapter 8, 9, 10 in paper 1, you are good with the means. Remaining things easily we can handle. Same things only. You have to just apply. Idea is same. All you have to do is just apply it. And then politics of representation and uh, participation. The political, the, this is about world, world political parties, pressure groups, social movements in, in the advanced industrial and developing society. Okay, so in paper 1, section B, we read about India. Here we are reading about the world. How in the different uh, countries, these uh, political parties are working, pressure groups are working, and uh, the social movements are there. So that we will be discussing. This is also a matter of 3-4 hours. We can complete it. And then globalization, open-ended topic. Okay, responses from the developed and developing societies. And then in paper 1, 2, section B, the 5 and 6 chapter is the core chapter. This will take time. Only these two chapters only. I said, no, in paper 1, section A, 8, 9, 10, like that in paper 2, only these two chapters are important. Important means the core idea. We have to go slowly. Okay. First is the different approaches to the study of international relation. The idealistic approach, realist approach, modalistic approach, uh, Marxist and functionalist and system theory. So this we have to read it. And then the key concepts in international relation. What do you mean by national interest, security and power? balance of power and deterrent, transnational actors, collective security, world capitalistic economy and globalization. Okay. So these two chapters will take, so um, um, uh, one, this will take one week, this will take one week. So this itself will take literally um, uh, around uh, three weeks, like that we can take it, maximum. Two to three weeks it will take the chapter five and six. If you are good in chapter five and six months, this is the idea. Other things are just the application. Easily we can deal it. Paper 1, uh, paper 2 section, we India and the world, you know, while writing the answers, you have to use these ideas and then these thinkers, the quotes, the comments, the, the principles, etc. used in chapter 5 and 6. Then it becomes a PSAR answer. That's all. This is the difference between GS and PS, PSAR. So here you have to write little technically. You have to read this well. Once you are good with that means, after that you will get a command. And then chapter number seven is the changing international political order. This is your world uh, history. That is po uh, uh, post-World War history, the contemporary history. Okay, rise of superpowers, strategic and ideological bipolarity, arms race, cold war and nuclear threat. Non-alignment movement achieves aims and achievements. Collapse of Soviet Union, unipolarity, American hegemony, relevance of NAM in contemporary world. So this is the modern politics, uh, modern world history. What happened after 1950, after the end of the Second World War? So those things. So just easy, just uh, uh, in um, political science, I mean in uh, bilateral relation also we have discussed a lot of things. And then in newspaper also you will get a lot of things. So with this itself we can easily manage. Okay, this is not all matter of a single day, we can, we can handle. And then this is the world economics. The evol evolution of the international economic system, Britain Woods to WTO, socialistic economies, uh, Council for Mutual Economic Assistance, the third world demand of NIEO, new international economic order, globalization of world economy, how the uh, uh, political economy is there, world political economy, so that part we will be discussing, WTO, uh, how free trade agreements are there, what, how western countries are doing, how India is doing, north, south, like Africa, like that we will be discussing. This is, just, this is also very interesting. And then you have the United Nation itself. The envisaged role and actual record. Uh, specialized UN, uh, UN agencies, aims and functioning, need for UN reforms. And then regionalization of world politics. So this is the international organization you have now in GS, same thing only. EU, Asia, APEC, SARC, NAFTA, BRICS, all the, not only, uh, not only this, uh, uh, five organization, other organization which are in news, that also may come in the examination. Easily we can handle it. So, uh, uh, the international meet, the groupings, uh, India now opting for membership in every group, so all these things may come under this, regionalization. BRICS, SARC, Asian, like that, okay. And then the contemporary world, global concern, this is completely a essay topic. Democracy, human rights, environment, justice, gender justice, terrorism, and nuclear proliferation. So all these things will may be useful in your essay topic. 
and finally in paper 2 section b you have india and the world the the entire bilateral relation chapter number 1 the indian foreign policy determinants of indian foreign policy the institutions of policy making continuity and changes so this part and second is india and the non alignment movement same thing only what we have read in paper 2 section a same thing only with respect to india we will be reading it and then india and the global south i mean uh, south asia the regional cooperation sarc past performance and future pro prospects and then the sarc south asia free trade agreement safta within sarc we have signed one free trade agreement how it is working how trade is happening in south asia that part and then india's look east policy and then impediments to regional cooperation so india cooperating with the neighbors means it is getting into lot of trouble why because of this problem river water dispute illegal cross border migration ethnic conflicts insurgencies border dispute so it's easy only so uh, all these things we will discuss in bilateral relation itself so here we have to go for answer writing practice also and then india and the global south 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 means world is divided into north and south this south means under developed or still developing south north means highly developed industrialized rich north so india and the global south means india's relation with africa latin america leadership role in the demand of new international economic order and wto negotiation so this and all will take one day we can we can handle it and then india and the global centers of power usa eu japan china and russia these are all the five major powers how india relation is there with this five major powers that part we will discuss and then <clears throat> india and united nation so in paper 2 section a we discussed about united nation and its agencies what is india's contribution and then uh, the un peace keeping the demand for permanent security council this is all open ended topic easily we can handle and and seventh one is india and the nuclear questions changing perceptions and policies okay so wh what is india's position regarding nuclear open whether india will sign npt ctbt whether there is a nuclear threat is there today uh, is third will third war, third world war will be a nuclear war whether third world war will come iran israel so this all these things will come under here what is india's position like that? and finally the recent developments in indian foreign policy that is india's position on recent crisis in afghanistan iraq west asia growing relation with us and israel vision of a new world order so these are all the eight chapters we have in paper 2 section b <coughs> okay and then just to see i will i will i will tell you what all the things that will overlap with the gs see chapter number 1 and 2 in paper 1 section a is purely you have to read it for political sense sake only that is not going to help you anywhere okay but 3 4 5 6 will be helpful for ethics ethics basics what do you mean by justice what do you mean by equality what do you mean by rights democracy all these things will be useful for your ethics paper okay and seventh chapter power hegemony ideology again indirectly this will help in ethics how power is been used means in ethical ethics we can we can take it but anyway this is a theory part of what we will be reading the application part only is ethics don't think that if you cover this means ethics is for no ethics the application side this is the fundamentals without fundamentals how people are writing the application side don't know so you should know the fundamental no so we can do it better the psir students can do this better always in ethics paper psir students will edge so that we have to repeat and then political ideologies this is common with your gs1 subject in gs1 you have uh, this uh, all this ideologies in your syllabus same thing is there but the, in gs lightly they will ask here uh, intensively we have to prepare so if you are good with this means the gs1 that particular chapter is covered and then 9 and 10 is completely political science only so out of the 10 chapters in paper 1 section a five chapters you will be reading it for political science sake alone remaining five chapters indirectly it will help you in gs paper indirectly indirectly means but we can take an edge okay so you know the fundamentals so your your thinking should be different you should approach that particular issue in different different angles that you can easily do it and then paper 2 section b paper 1 section b 11 chapters are there all are gs subject only in which indian nationalism is gs1 caste religion ethnicity the sociology it will come and then social movements also in sociology it will come so three chapters completely will come in gs remaining chapters gs2 first is gs1 this is gs2 this polity part making of constitution salient features principal organs of union and state government 
grassroots democracy, the statutory commissions, uh, institutions, uh, federalism, planning and development, party system. So all these things are in your GS2 paper. So paper one section B completely will be covered for directly will be useful for your GS directly. Okay. So, but paper one section A is indirectly it will cover. This will directly will cover. And then if you take paper two section A means you see the chapter one, two, three, five, six is purely political science, international relations. This may not be useful for your GS. Other five, six chapters will be useful for your GS. Globalization is in your uh, GS3 paper. And then international economic system also, GS2 also it will come, bilateral also it will come. In international economics, GS3 also it will come. And then the changing international political order is GS1 paper. Okay, the world history part. And then you have United Nations, regionalization of world politics in GS2. So out of 11 chapters, only 5 chapters, you will be reading it for PSAR one, PSAR alone. Paper 1 also 5 chapters, paper 2 also 5 chapters. So totally 10 chapters only, you are reading it only for the sake of PSAR, actually. And then paper 2 section B, all are GS2. This is the bilateral relation. Completely it is bilateral relation. It will be easy. Okay, is it clear? So... So other subjects may be for GS, it will it will help maybe 10 percentage or 15 percent. Our subject will cover more than 50 percentage. Our subjects will be useful for your GS preparation, more than 50 percent. No other subject can come uh, very near to PSA. Okay, so maximum history means geography means only one part, one, one paper, one part only it will cover history, geography, or whatever topic you are taking, uh, whatever option people are taking. For GS, it will they will it will help only for a certain extent. So in paper one, you have to note that in uh, GS, uh, Indian history is there, modern history is there, world contemporary history is there, sociology part is there, and then that ideologies are there. So these are all the things which helpful for your GS one paper. In GS two paper, three parts are there: polity, governance, bilateral. Except the governance, the other two parts will be covered in GS two. Governance mentions the schemes and all that we won't read it in our syllabus. That part you have to prepare. What government is doing, what are the different schemes that you have to prepare the, separately. But otherwise, the other two chapters are there, other totally three chapters are there. Polity, governance, bilateral. Polity and governance, uh, governance alone is not there. Polity and bilateral we have in our syllabus. In paper three, the international uh, uh, economics will cover. Globalization, all these things it is covered. Paper 3 only you have to read, okay, so the economic part, internal security it will cover actually, indirect, directly or indirectly, okay, the disaster management, the um, core economics, that part only you have to read separately. In ethics, without knowing what do you mean by justice, what do you mean by rights, what do you mean by equality, what do you mean by freedom, how come you approach an ethics paper? So definitely we have an edge, So, but the edge we have to take it, so that is very important, okay. So these are all the things I want to tell you. And then you see, in GS, approximately 62.5 percentage it will cover. Yet our 100 percent, this is PSAR subject means, 40 chapters means, 62 percentage of the chapter will be helpful for your GS. 12.5 percentage for essay and ethics and 25 percentage of the syllabus is core, core PSAR. So this, this part, this red part, 25 percentage, you have to prepare only for what? PSAR sake. So this will take time. Slowly we will do it, but it will be interesting. This part is easy. Okay. And then in the class, uh, you have to note that how classes and tests will be there. Means. So in the course, you have uh, totally 10 tests is there. This is the revision test and a full test. Okay. So 90% we will try to follow this same syllabus. 90%. Or depending upon sometimes if there is a break, means. We can, we have to change the syllabus and then we have to keep a test, that's all. So totally eight uh, revision tests will be there, two full tests, paper one, paper two will be there. This will come with your course. And not only that, chapter wise, daily class tests and all, uh, uh, and literally uh, every week you will be having. And every day you will be writing test. So daily test is also there, weekly test also will be there. Okay, depending upon how far we have completed based on that, the test will be there. You will be writing more than 50 mini tests. 50 mini test, 8 full test, 
and then uh, the eight revision test and uh, uh, paper one, paper two. So totally, you have ten test. This is the official test for you. The class assessment, depending upon the subject we are preparing, what topic we have taken, daily I will be question, giving me, giving you questions, and then you have to prepare. And then for batch two students, I am I am also happy to inform that from um, this October end, I am um, I am going for one more program. Daily answer writing program. Videos will be there daily. I will be providing one question daily. We will be writing the questions. Okay, so daily video will be released. So this is what I am planning. I don't know how far this is going to materialize. So I'm I'm doing this for everybody. You can get directly. You can get benefit from that. Okay, particularly for the periphery parts, it will be useful for bilateral relation, polity. These two areas you have to note that we have to write lot of questions. We have to prepare lot of questions. No. So we can extensively we can cover all these things. Okay, now only I am planning. I will uh, tell you the final plan after a week. Next weekend you will get the full plan. But uh, December first week you have to note that we will be having our uh, India and the world answer writing program. Daily we will be writing one question. At the end of a particular topic we will have a full test for you like this class test. Okay, so. Uh, extensively we are going to cover this time we are not going to leave a single topic in our syllabus maybe two three years before and all i won't give much stress on india and the world and polity part because in polity and all you have to note that in gs uh, they are taking around 35 to 40 classes okay after that again coming and sitting in the class it will be very difficult because i have to tell you something new no people know everything eh? because they have attended 35 classes like the 35 classes is impossible here so here we will be discussing only the issue part that only I handle but this time I am going for a, a detailed program separately parallel parallelly it will run okay the core parts we will go as per the class schedule parallelly India and the world and polity parallelly we will go daily one question we will discuss the ideas the how to uh, daily one one question daily you prepare like that means after two, after two months you can have a, uh, you can you can cover the entire syllabus like that we'll I, I will i will give you release the uh, timetable later okay now only i'm planning so the last three weeks i was not in uh, chennai so today afternoon only i came okay so today or tomorrow i'll work it out maybe monday tuesday itself we may get it okay i will, I will tell you the idea the outline the outline is we are going to have answer writing program daily one question v video okay so other people will just see the video you can write the answers and send me i will evaluate and give you like that we can do it since you are part of the this this uh, this batch okay so daily you write the answers see the video uh, uh, read the material see the video and then uh, answer write the answer and then show to me evaluate and daily you can improve so one by one only you can improve if you are not writing uh, um, answers daily means your test papers will be very difficult you can't write the test answers you know the answer but the answer will not come in the paper okay so regarding test no need to worry we have an extensive uh, program this time last year i did not implement like this this year we are doing it that's when already people are writing lot of test two revision test is over for them indian political thought one separately and uh, western political thought okay so actually uh, what i have planned is i i plan to combine batch one and batch two okay so uh, uh, that means you won't find any difficulty Okay, so first what we will do is, in uh, maybe in November mid, I think, we will have a combined class, particularly when we are dealing paper 2, section A. By the time we will have a combined class, okay. Because if you are not, five days, sometimes you have to note that certain subjects are there. At a stretch, I am taking in seven days, all seven chapters means, it will be difficult. You have to pick up, no, you have to come along with, you know. So what I have to do is, I have to leave a gap. So depending upon the content type, how much uh, weightage is there, how much uh, essence is there in the topic, based on that only I have to take a class, okay. So for example, in international relation theory, at a stretch in uh, one week I am completing this means it will be difficult. Okay, so, uh, or you have to note that if I, if I am completing in one week means I have to give you another one week free, then only you can study everything and then you can write the test. So depending upon the weightage of the topics, we have to move on. All topics are not equal, but equal in marks. Marks means the questions means equally only it will come. But in understanding, reading, 
uh, in knowing things, in working out, you have to note that 15 chapters, you have to put more effort. Another 25 chapters, no need of putting, that means for, uh, you have to put only 25 to 40 percentage effort. Automatically, you can cover. For some chapters, uh, some 10 chapters I said, no, in uh, both the said theories, you have to put double the effort. Then only you can complete. Okay, so according to our convenience, I know how students can prepare, whether they can do it or not. Based on that only, I will, sometimes I will go fast or I will go very slow. So that depends upon the subject's weightage. Okay, so uh, depends uh, how far you can follow. Based on that, we can, uh, we can, uh, we can increase the fast. Okay, so first, uh, first, uh, uh, for the first two, three weeks, we will be having Indi I mean, the Western political thinkers. First, we have to complete it. And then the ideology, liberalism and socialism, we have to complete it. The thinkers and socialism, once you are ready, means after that, remaining things are very easy. And then we have to go for paper uh, to section A. Okay. So classes will be there by 2.30 to 5 in the afternoon. Because evening students mean some of the people are uh, already in uh, evening batch, 5.30 batch. That's why. Afternoon GS class is not there. Evening GS class is there. So I have no other choice other than to take the class from 2.30 to 5. Saturday, Sunday, we will be having class from 8.30 to 1.30. Okay. So all classes mostly will start with a test. You have to write the test. Day 1, everybody will write. Day 2, 80 percentage will write. Day 3, 60 percentage will write. Like that, always the numbers are going down for all batches. Okay. So what I am telling is, this is the time you are... Your, 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 that means the best investment in your life is this your age only, this time. Other people are going and joining a job and then what they are doing is they are, um, they are uh, earning money, they are enjoying the life, they are spending the money. But you people, what we people are doing, today, today is a Vijay Dasmi, everybody are uh, leave, okay, we are in the class. So what I am telling is you are investing your, that means best thing. Money means we can earn, time will never come back. So you have to make the best use of it, okay? So I'll be completely supporting you in everything, whatever you want, whatever help you want, I am here for PSAR. And then uh, for GS also, you can come and meet me. So what I'm telling is, uh, tomorrow, uh, what is today? Today is Saturday. Uh, tomorrow or uh, tomorrow, you people will not come for the class, okay? On Monday, what I'm telling is, you people directly come and meet me. Monday we have class by 2.30 to 5. Okay, in the first week itself, I want everybody to meet me directly, personally. So just I, I will know about you, what you are doing, what is your background, uh, what is your strength and weakness. If I, if I know means, I can guide you a little better for that purpose. Or literally, you have to note that for the entire your examination, I am your mentor, actually. Okay, so in, that means, um, mentor means separately, you may have somebody, some people, okay. But actually, for you people, PSAR people, I, I, I must be your mentor. That means what I'm telling is, you can come and directly share with me what are all the issues you are having. What you are doing, what you are not doing, then only I will know. Then only I will tell you. All I can do is just to tell only, okay? It is up to you to execute. I, so even I am working, what is the use in that? The last, uh, la last year, this uh, last for the, for the last four or five months, I have completely updated all the materials fresh material, uh, very relevant material we are having. it. Class also, you have to note that we will, I will give you class notes. Okay, while, while taking the class, uh, unlike bilateral class, I, I will go very fast because I have a limited time only. Because all other subjects are there, we are being given a particular amount of classes only. Within this particular prescribed time, I have to complete, like that I have some compulsion. 10 percentage, I can deviate from that. But here it is not the case. Even you want, we can double the classes, no problem. So until you are satisfied, until I am also satisfied, I will take classes. This is the this is my this is uh, this is completely my responsibility. Okay, so if you are good men, then we can move on. Now, if you think that no, you need more explanation, you are not able to catch it, men. So just to tell me, we can we can extend the class, or we can have some special class. Even you can meet me during the free time. So I am available. I will give you my number. You can just to put a message in Telegram. In, in advance, you, uh, you tell me, means I will tell you the time when I am free. Because I am having GS classes also, no? So, mostly morning, uh, 8 to 1.30, I may, be, may not be free. 
so we will be having classes 2:30 to 5 so after 5 mostly uh, daily i am uh, uh, mostly i will be free gs gs classes also almost i have completed only one or two batches are there mostly i will be free if you want means you come come to the staff room we can sit together and then we can uh, work out no problem if you come in groups means it will be easy for me instead of coming single one by one means i can't uh, tell you everything no yeah. okay so uh, you 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 form some kind of groups and then if you come means it will be easy for me we can work out lot of things okay so subject is not at all a problem actually it is a very good subject uh, this time we will complete all the subjects all the topics we are not going to leave a single topic even if it is important not important you can do it then also i am going to do it so last time and all i i i, I normally I, i don't used to do it okay for example the united nation the contemporary global concerns what do you mean what are, what is the problem in democracy today that and all open in the topic so that also we will work it out this time okay and the thing is especially you you have that answer writing program okay so all students i will put it in youtube this is my idea everybody can access it but uh, since you are there in the batch you can send me the questions also write the questions and send me or you can meet me directly most probably if you take a snap and then send me the question means i can correct it and then send you uh, uh, in a day or two maximum two days i will take worst case okay so then and there one by one you write the question means it will be uh, easy for me to evaluate and easy for you to improve also so for this week i am giving five questions means each day you have to write one question not all all the questions on one day don't do it because you will be doing the same mistake for all the five questions what is the use in that so write daily write one question get corrected and get evaluated get the feedback and then uh, implement that particular idea in the second question then third question fourth question once you are doing it for 10 to 15 days two weeks means after that automatically you will come in line we get the idea means you will write the answer until that it will be difficult whatever subject you are taking it is going to be like that only we are going to have the daily answer writing program so with the time table i will be giving you the time table for that in the, in the this weekend weekend means um, I'm, i'm i'm telling friday saturday you will get it so monday you will be having class maybe next week one or one day or two day we may not have class i, I will tell you later okay so monday tuesday wednesday definitely we have class friday thursday definitely you will not have class definitely no class on thursday friday i will tell you whether we are having class or not okay. so saturday sunday uh, initially we won't have class we will see depending upon how class is going based on that conveniently we will take our time okay so uh, so you have to allocate all your time for psir in the next two and a half months okay so before january what all we can do it in psir we have to do it after that preliminary time pongal pongal holiday will be in literally 10 days after that preliminary will start after that people will not study so what i am telling is before that we have to complete all the core areas and the remaining time we will be discussing the gs part so even you are coming and attending the class means it won't be uh, what is a completely different from what you are preparing in gs same thing only so it will be useful so this is my idea so otherwise we can go linearly if you are going linear limits you have to note that uh, uh, that means in the second half you have to note that uh, the, if you are discussing some core area means it will be difficult so as far as possible we will try to complete all the core areas before january 15th before going to pongal holidays with the test also we have to do it after that we will continue with the gs area and particularly uh, since we have to overlap you with the batch one uh, first i will take western political thinker and ideologies then we have to move to paper 2 then finally only we have to cover the first seven chapters like that you have to go so what i'm telling is don't no need to worry about anything about the flow of the subject you have to come in lines with me means you you will be safe just to follow me follow me means so listen the class and then in the class lecture also will be there notes class notes hints also i will be giving and immediately after the class you have to note that while while giving dictating itself i will explain like that slow and steadily only i will go immediately after the class go and read the class notes first one or two times get clarity what we have discussed in the class be clear with that and then take the material what i am giving 
and then you take a very big notes the class notes plus the material so for example in the class i am giving you four page or five page notes means so five page class notes plus the material what you have to do is you have to take 12 page notes the second time first time in class directly you, are, you will be taking running notes if it is five pages means about that same topic read the five pages and then take the material printed material what i am giving so with the core material and the printed material you take a, a detailed notes write all the information there it should be uh, if uh, five page notes will become 12 page notes after that after 12 page notes what you have to do is you have to reduce the notes into half five to six pages you have to do it that means the detail from the detailed notes you again take another notes and then from that note you have to take one page note one page note so taking one page note means that one page note means what are all the things you have discussed we will we should come in one page every topic one page something like that if you are doing like this means what will happen is you you will be revising it again and again means this is the idea whatever you are asking from this only i am going to write it like that you can do it the comparison contrast that is the highlight of our answer writing okay this so that part and all we can do it well only when you first class notes and then class notes plus uh, printed material that will become the detailed notes that will be into 2.23 three, three times into three times you have to take a note five page means it should be 12 to 15 pages and again reduce that note into half and then finally reduce it to one page if you do the like this means you'll be very clear with the topic so in this order only you have to directly don't take one page notes it won't work you can understand first class notes four to five pages one topic means five pages for example and then uh, read the class notes first two three times oh this is what we discussed in the class so this idea says this only this is the implication this is the idea like that you once you understand it after that take the material class notes plus material printed material that should become five pages should become 12 to 15 pages and again from the 12 to 15 pages leave the books and other things you have taken the 12 page notes now from that reduce that note into literally half or one third and then finally into one page if you do like this means it will be easy then only you can master because the people who are writing two three times all you have to compete with them only am i right so how they will be very well versed in this if you wanted to clear in the first attempt itself means you have to do like this the no other way is there what all you hear what all you read uh, everything should be in writing okay in, in your own handwriting detailed notes also should be there concise note also should be there one page notes also should be there three notes plus class notes class notes you will take it in class so uh, apart from class three notes you have to take detailed notes and then concise of the detailed notes and one page notes like that you should have if you do this means i will give you in writing you will clear the exam okay and then the strategy uh, test already i have said class content also i have said so class will start with the test and then we will be discussing mostly one topic per day mostly one topic only i am i will not dump okay because if you are not able to understand means what is the use of teaching okay so one topic one day means that day evening itself you have to go and prepare and then complete it then only the next day you have to we can discuss another topic the continuation of the first day only we will be discussing day two so daily you have to complete it already you are late openly i am telling batch two students are late okay so uh, so 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 what i am telling is you don't have much time next to two and a half months you, you 80 percentage of your time you give in psir psir plus psir based gs that is uh, polity and then modern history world history and then bilateral relation and then international organization and international economy so these topics should be your priority you have to complete all these topics before january january means before pongal then you can concentrate more on other subjects that is geography culture so other things environment and all so now you have to give more emphasis on again i am telling polity polity should be your top priority because polity comes in your gs preliminary gs means psar second is world that means uh, indian history indian modern history 
international organization and then international economy so these are all the subjects you have to concentrate on now along with the psr preparation okay so if you are uh, that means if you can uh, you have to properly utilize this subject for gs then only we can take the advantage so for you people i said first two and a half months until or until uh, january 10th that means before pongal period you concentrate on mains psr plus psr based gs after that you have to note that you can concentrate on other gs so here we will be discussing the psr gs paper okay so uh, most probably by february end or march 10th we will we'll fix a date before that we have to complete because you should have enough time for preparing for preliminary examination you are lagging two months actually two months you are behind okay for them i will complete on january end for batch one after that only i have to take the seven chapters for you okay so along with paper uh, batch one let us complete it so the other chapters you have to note that we have to wait and see okay how class is going on based on that only we will know any question is there if you have any questions means you can ask me now online people also so first class so even if people have some dilemma means you attend the first class okay monday monday i will start with western political thought plato okay so attend the class after that you will understand whether you can handle because plato is the most tough topic you are good with that means remaining things you easily you can handle yes any any questions online students yes 26 only okay okay so have you joined gs so psr only actually this is the best tone best thing what, what uh, no no so no need to waste the time okay so now uh, you have completed your college degree no final year what uh, what course you are doing economics which college loyola college so what i am telling is how your uh, degree whether it is very tough during the last semester okay okay so that means you have joined sadhana batch evening batch but you have postponed ah uh. no no see gs means you will be reading lot of subjects that's why that problem will come but this is one subject only you know easily you can concentrate but my only concern is whether you can be there 2:30 to 5 daily ah uh, so then then it is a problem no problem okay you join as a offline student offline student better come here then only you will get the advantage online students i don't prefer actually okay but people are long from here means they can't attend here means they can take online class otherwise you have to come offline then only i will know i will check it then only i can follow you then only we can reap the maximum benefit no no so that problem you won't have see so don't worry see batch one means ir is a separate subject so before that we are going to read the ideologies and western political thinker no by the time itself you will get an picture okay you will get you will get to know what is political science okay see regarding subject flow don't no need to worry all i am telling is just to follow me okay so without any what is a that means uh, hurdles we just to follow my route means automatically it will come so other Uh, maybe are from other uh, institutes or from other sources you have to note that they may have a different idea what i am telling is wherever you are joining stick with them 
that will be better so they they have their own way you know everybody have a different approach no so this will not be a problem okay so easily see subjects are easy see certain thing is it's a one liner everything is one idea is a one liner once you can understand that means for but you can if you read it means you won't understand but so i am here no for you so if i am interpreting that i am telling you what is that how we have to approach this how we have to see that once you know that means the remaining things are easy see it is not at all going to be a problem for you okay so what i am telling is regarding the concepts and then um the static part no need to worry 100% i will give you backup regarding the dynamic part writing part you have to follow my that answer writing program okay so i plan it to have it in the class but uh, the thing is regularly we can't have class no all seven all seven days you won't have class definitely two days or one day you will get a two days you will be getting free only okay depending upon the topic depending upon uh, what we are discussing based on that only whether continuously we are having class or on one day two day break we are having that depends upon the topic okay so that you leave it to me so what i am asking is a simple thing afternoon 2:30 to 5 you reserve for psir saturday sunday uh, 8:30 to 1:30 you reserve for psir just you do this before uh, end of the february we will complete this class slow and steadily we will go all seven days be ready all seven days will be a class but the meaning is depending upon the topic you will get a break okay now itself i can't tell you when i will when we can have class when we can't have class so so if the topic is easy is the flow is coming means continuously we can go sometimes uh, after teaching it you need a day or two okay or maximum one or two days maximum i'm telling to understand that particular topic or to read the details and then only we can move to the next topic means then i will give a break so i will i know where and all you need a break where and all we can go in one flow flat amounts we can study one day aristotle means uh, half slack meal you can do it in a single day no problem because the ideas are similar so you can understand so based on the topic uh, uh, the flow will be there so sometimes in a stretch class will be there sometimes break will be there that depends upon the topic that depends upon how so my idea how i have to uh, deliver it. so you just leave that to me so daily 5:30 to i mean um, 2:30 to 5 we have class monday to friday saturday sunday 8:30 to 1:30 you will have class class will start with test or one question two question what we have discussed in the last class uh, so that will be the question i will give you a question on the spot you have to write it write it and then uh, and then uh, next topic will be there so like that we will move so we will be writing lot of test mini test around 50 test you will be writing i will give you apart from that you will be writing the 10 uh, 8 revision test plus the two full test anything to uh, anything you want to know online students yes i want everybody to come and meet me okay i will give you my number okay if you have any doubt means even you can call me 8015135359 this is my number phone number you can directly call me tomorrow i have class uh, by 9 to 1 after that you can call or before 9 o'clock you call me or in the afternoon or evening you can call me or monday morning you can call monday morning <coughs> 11:30 i have class here 11 o'clock so some batch sixth batch i think so after that afternoon we have class even after the class you can come and meet me okay so just call me and then fix uh, let, let us fix a time and then we will meet or tuesday tuesday i will be available in the morning morning uh, so mostly we will be having class by 8 to 10:30 no so 10:30 to 11 i will be available and 1:30 also we can be, i will be available before the class we can discuss yes somebody online yes may audible ah, yeah. yes yes it's loud it's very loud actually yes ah Sir, in Raman, this yes? subject, cat, religion and ethnicity in politics. What is the definition, sir? Uh, come again. Caste, religion and ethnicity in Indian politics. 
caste ethnicity uh, religion and indian politics see uh, so in indian society in the india caste system is there ethnicity dravidya dravidan ideology it is a ethnicity north east in ethnicity and then religion is there religion based politics is there how this is affecting indian politics and in elections how people are getting together how we are uh, facing the problem how we are trying to solve the problem how people are coming together and fighting for the rights so those things we will be discussing sir Based in tamil cash. nadu ah sir sir in tamil nadu they say uh, the the opposition party say the sanada the dama will eradicate it became a uh, yes. biggest controversy but in oh, the yes. political party having a no what can we say a response like that so the opposition okay. party has a no bad bad influence with this see opposition but a ruling party only is against sanadana dharma dmk dmk people only are telling things against sanadana dharma am i right yes sir yes it is an issue big issue okay so that depends upon what you believe what politics you are making using your identity based on that only the electoral votes will be there you will get votes in tamil nadu if you speak like that means it is working because of the people's ideology here in north india different ideology is there sentiment ram sentiment is there so that and all you are going against the sanadana dharma means you will be thrown out of the politics in north india so that depends upon the people's mentality the type of people the socio economic status of the people the uh, what is uh, who are the leaders based on that only the people will follow the leaders no in tamil nadu you see the dravidan leaders are popular in the last century last literally last 70 years yes so that's why here dravidan politics is working so we will discuss we have to discuss this it is a uh, one full class is required for this okay so uh, so that means in uh, upsc they won't ask anything controversial but you should be ready to deliver for example uniform civil code is there the union government is telling we will bring uniform civil code but uh, you have to note that the opposition parties are there they are opposing it some of the people secular people are opposing it the minorities are opposing it so plus and minuses are there in every demand every agenda every propaganda in both the sides actually we can argue but finally you have to note that for a country like india where diversity is there you have to find out which is you have to accommodate everybody means then sacrifices are important sacrifices means whether the minority have to sacrifice or the majority have to sacrifice this is important so that depends upon the political idea how people are thinking the social status of the people okay so uh, we will discuss that don't worry we will be touching all these things in the class Cast okay, sir. Yes. Okay, you are online student or offline student? Sir, I'm in online, but I come in the offline mode, sir. No, join offline. Come offline. I'm. This is I what I'm telling. Offline, you enroll I offline. offline I joined offline. Teaching me my lessons. okay so whatever what i am telling is during discussion of the core topics that is until january 15 we will be discussing all the core topics if you are here means then i will know you whether you can follow whether you are able to understand it in what way i can help it will be more easy for me and it will be useful for you if you are online and you are not interacting means it will be difficult for me also okay i will not know whether you have you are able to follow it okay so what i'm telling is you be in my observation uh, not only you all people i'm telling uh, I, that means permit me to observe you directly in the class then only uh, the class flow also will be easy if you are struggling means i can i will go little uh, uh, slow or we can take one more class like that we can do it only when i know that only then only it will be easy so i want you people directly here in my class so this is my request okay if people are not able to comment so i am not insist, insisting like that what i am telling is uh, what i am telling is as far as possible you come here so this is important i want you un- under my direct supervision then only i can help you in the best possible way okay since we have a very small group easily you can uh, you can access me 
okay so i am going to spend a lot of time with you please okay so don't um if you have reasons means you can take online no problem we say is heavy raining is that family circumstances you can't be here means then you can take on the day link will be available you can take online class no problem okay don't miss the classes also because all the classes i am going to take the core topics in the initially that's why okay if i have 10 full months so i will come in the online day. on monday yes i want all you people to so come, come offline in offline mode sir okay okay you come directly all other people also come directly uh, speak with me and then and this what to do okay i also want to know what you people are doing regarding gs also so only when you interact me i will know because if you are studying psc elements without concentrating on gs what is the use in that both have to be uh, both you have to prepare simultaneously parallelly but give more importance on psr as of now until at least until this december end you ca- concentrate on psr after that what you can do is you can do um, uh, you can concentrate more on gs and uh, parallelly you can go with psr okay so i want all you people to contact me uh, monday tuesday wednesday you have to note that we will meet or monday uh, i will so you will be uh, you will be having gs up to 10:30 no so t- i will be here by 10:15 to 11 7 o'clock i have class so 45 minutes i will be there you people can come and meet me or tuesday morning fully i don't have class so i can be here from 10:15 to um, until the class okay so you can come and meet me or what you do is you call me i will tell you the time we can meet so contact me in telegram or directly you call me you call me now or tomorrow means 9 to 1 i will be having class i won't take the phone after tomorrow afternoon or evening you can call me that you do like that tomorrow evening you just everybody call me and then fix it okay on the time we will meet your convenience my convenience we can meet so let me know about you what you are doing what is around then only it will be easy for me okay so tell to your friends also okay so test is our highlight this for this time we are going to write lot of class test mini test then test what i have given in the syllabus okay that uh, that i have given no that one apart from that we are also going to answer writing program separately evaluation also be done for the batch students other people also can access the video but uh, they can the evaluation will not for you people just wait the question answer send me so then you can write one question scan that paper and then send it to my telegram means one one question and per day means immediately i will correct it and give you and then uh, based on the feedback your uh, next uh, test you can write like that continuously if you writing means you'll get used to writing everything will be easy online student any other student have any other doubt other students any doubt even you can type it in the chat no need to feel shy because till your examination is going to end i am going to be with you we will be interacting with each other so it is my responsibility to guide you okay uh, for psr i will give you complete uh, backup for gs i will give you the direction you can you have to work out anything to add anything to ask students online students sir the timing of the class is 2:30 to 5 hours sir yes sir monday to friday to the 2:30 to 5 saturday sunday 8:30 to 1:30 8:30 to 1:30 ama you reserve this time for psr so other time okay, i will follow all the instructions okay 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 thank you if there is no question means we can end the class okay so i have given my number what i am asking is you call me tomorrow evening after 6 o'clock you call me and fix the time for next week next week i want to meet everybody online people also you just call me we will discuss at least online uh, in phone itself we will discuss so i am asking all you people to attend the class directly because 
since time is very precious already we have lost some time uh, you have to note that if you directly come only it will be easy for me and also for you you can make the best use of me okay shall we end the thank class thank you sir thank you if, if anything is there means you just call me okay send a message or you can even call me now i am free now maybe after 30 minutes i will be free i will be in my home you can call me any time so i will be i will be awake till 11:30 12 o'clock daily okay any time you can call me no problem okay it's a, don't think that it is a disturbance okay but during the day time if i am not taking the call me don't mistake me uh, you send me a message i may be in the class i may not take the phone after the class only i may attend okay just to tell your name and badge to psr question what is the question or you uh, or uh, just to, you tell me sir please call me means i will call you back or if you are in the class means i may not call, you may not be able to take the phone no so you tell me when you are free i will call okay so you are free to contact me any time okay thank you